just the uh, pricks that I've been showing you clips of. Uh, but uh, yeah, without further ado, I think we'll do like like a handful of duels this episode, and then uh, uh, Dark Magician's promoted, Necrogal too. Really, it's good, good, all good. Yeah, we're just gonna do like a handful of duels, and uh, yeah, have a little fun. Ooh, Breath of Light's pretty good. Okay, let's try for. Well, I already have that. Is a uh, Eternal uh, Eternal Rest? I don't know. Anyway, let's take a look. That's cool. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah. Takes a while. Oh, missed it. Okay. Okay. Uh. Oh, I missed it by one. But at least we got three different cards. That's good. And some of those are low deck cost, which can uh, help us fill spots if we need to. Okay. Now let's see here. Um, okay, so we're at 95 wins and two losses. Okay, let's try to do like two duels this uh, recording session. And, um, yeah, that way we can reincarnate. That sounds good. So let's just head here to Weevil Underwood. Yeah, yeah this deck's probably not too good suited to take on Bones. No, or, or Darkness Ruler for that matter. But, uh, I'll be okay versus Weevil. After this, I'll switch decks. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably go against one of those uh, new characters we unlocked. Uh, this is pretty good, turn one. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess I'll play Infinite Dismissal here. And we'll call it Alright, over to you. Hi, Terry. I summon a blood, face, stamp, and defense, and attack. And I'll move it forward in it, Terry. Alright, we Now, then. Uh, I could actually play a Zoe here right away, but... This card's pretty good on this field. Let's just go with Rosie. <laughs> the T-Ball. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn uh, Battles back on. That's my bad. It's okay. Yeah, usually I'll have Battles on for the main episode, but, you know, unless we're trying to, you know, really, really make use of our time. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, anyway, let's move this forward. And let's just attack this, I guess. Uh, Hunter Spider, good card, but, uh, yeah, you probably should have put that one in defense mode there, buddy. Not that I want you to make good moves, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty dumb one, honestly. And you wasted five of your summoning stars, so. I'm looking good for you. Soul Crusher! Observant viewers may have noticed that, uh, yeah, I didn't have the uh, Siddle Kaiba hoodie on, but I'm gonna start putting it on right now. Uh, have I summoned? No. Okay, I got four stars. Uh, let's just pass. Yeah. This deck is pretty good on the four string. Let's see, like, use a couple power ups soon. Zoa do like the final the final attack here so I'll just move right here to kind of keep him trapped in the corner and then uh yeah I'll we'll pass build up stars for Zoa sounds good sounds good alright so you didn't use a power up here yeah okay it should be good alright so let's try to see what Zoa's attack looks like I mean unless this is a trap right next to a scorpion which could be a tweakle so Alright, let's see Zoa shine. Nice. From what I remember, Zoa has a pretty baller attack in this game, too. So We may have seen it once or twice, but... Probably from Band to keep using it. We need to see it from my side. Of the game. And you, dog steals out of Oblivia. So badass, bro. Hell yeah. So what, baby? So was like, what's... Ooh. Yeah, he, he looks 
is really good in this game. Very, very scary looking. I like it. Very good. Okay, and uh, we'll get the, well, uh, yeah, we'll get the finishing block. I was just thinking this turn, I was like, oh, I could summon something and get a little experience, but no, no, no. That's what we saved Zilla for. Okay. Pretty easy. Let's try to get three in a row, I guess. I haven't got a three in a row in a while. I know we can do it, though. For sure, so. We'll give it a whirl. Okay. Petite Moth's there. Okay, I guess Hunter Spider it is. Oh! <laughs> oh, I was so close. Oh, man. Oh, well. Nightmare Scorpion, I guess. Okay. Man, it, it seemed like I hit it at the right time, but it just kind of slid just a little further down, you know? That's okay, that's okay. Okay. Alright. That duel is pretty quick. Let's, uh, yeah, let's switch decks real quick. Uh, should I go to the main deck and fight, uh, Bones? Probably, honestly. Um... Hmm. Yeah, so this is the main deck. What about this deck? Pretty good, honestly. Yeah, we... I don't think we've seen Blue Eyes attack in a while, either. Eh, yeah, screw it. Let's mix it up. Let's go with this deck. Oh, yeah, and Rose ranked up. Yeah, because when I started this recording session, she was at, uh, the three-star. Ah, one-star, two-star... Three star, and now she's team four star. Uh, that actually means I can duel uh, Rex with this deck, which I probably shouldn't. Um, yeah, because this deck's obviously, you know, with the rosy uh, deck leader, it's actually more based around plants, which suck on this field, but I think I might have some forest cards in here. <laughs> then again, it's just Rex, you know what I mean? <laughs> You can really, like, once you get used to the AI in this game, and to the fusion system, you can beat him with literally anything. Uh, that's a pretty good card off the top. So we'll take, yeah, this. Uh, we're just gonna send it forward. I'm not even gonna activate it, because, uh, yeah. I kinda want him to reveal his monster, whatever it is, so. on this side. Alright, so, yeah, looks like this deck's gonna be just fine. Uh, yeah, with Rose, we do have the same as the made of the Aqua. What's weird, though, is Rose is only a major, so you get the, uh, increased strength ability with Rosie pretty early, and in fact, plants in general are one of the best, uh, deck leader types in the game, if you want to go all the way to, uh, Secretary of Defense, SD, so... I'd recommend it, yeah, honestly. Uh, oh! <laughs> let's see you defeat, let's see you defeat this monster, Rex Raider. Alright, I activate my Forest Star. Now, everything will be shrouded in the forest. And next, I activate the magic card, Tremendous Fire. This deals a heavy blow of a thousand light point damage to you, Rex Raptor. I'll summon a legendary engine of destruction. Oh, that's awesome. And I was just saying, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we show blue eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All those bonus episodes of showing Dark Magician? Time to show good old blue eyes some love. I would show red eyes some love, but, uh, yeah, obviously we would need a three in a row to even have a chance at it, really. And then, up, up then it's up to luck, so. But you get crumbling dream. I'm sorry. Kill White Lightning. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Get that weak monster out of here, Raptor. Nice. Alright. Uh, what rank is Blue Eyes, by the way? That'd be a pretty cool final deck leader, but... We definitely don't have the dragons to support it, but, uh, yeah, or the power-ups, but, uh, oh, it's already first loose hand. Yeah, that's interesting. But, well, we'll obviously move blue eyes forward. Let's start summoning stuff on this side. Uh, I kind of need to wait for, ooh, I actually have the combo. Ooh. 
Okay. Yeah, this is uh, similar to the combo we did in the bonus episode. Yeah, cocoon plus a uh, yeah equals larva of moth. So yeah, can't move. Transforms into poop of moth. If this card survives five turns, face up in defense position. Destroy prior to transformation. The card is revived as larva moth. Okay. All right. So that's the first step. It takes about six turns. Let's move right here and then turn. Go ahead, Rex. What you got, buddy? Retreating, huh? That's the coward's way out. Go, Blue One turn on Moth. Ooh, trap cards. Nice, 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 nice. Let's, uh... Let's just send an old... Infinite Dismissal this way. Okay, then I think I'll move forward here in the turn. Alright, All right. Rex is just gonna he's just gonna stand there and let me uh, attack him with my white lightning attack, so I'm sorry, uh, my burst stream of destruction. Alright, let's do it. to the sky by blue eyes <laughs> right arise blue eyes white dragon i love that it has the classic artwork too i think if you get another three in a row of blue eyes it does change artwork to me, which is eh, it's interesting uh, we've yet to summon Ooh, block man -na 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 block man okay let's summon uh block man let's see if we can get him to play breath of life let's play block man over here Oh yeah, flip that swell face down, baby. I use the effect. Heck yeah. <laughs> What's funny is this card is called Blockman, but in the actual TCG, uh, there is a monster named Blockman. But oh, oh, good, good. But it has a completely different ability than this thing, and design, and everything. So I wonder what this monster uh, was renamed to. Uh, this monster here. Oh no, it's actually called Prisman. Ah. In that case, that's just my confusion. <laughs> but, you know, imagine a Yu-Gi-Oh! player reading cards, right? Hazukashi. Alright, let's power up Quaga. Eh, I guess we'll move blue eyes here. And uh, if this is game, <laughs> we won't even see Poop of Moth of All. Ah, oh, magic card, huh? Uh, Eternal Rest. Yes. Yeah, standard fare for Rex. Alright, I will end the turn. Where are you gonna go, Rex? Well, we just won because I can attack you directly. And you only have 2100 life points, bucko. Alrighty, but uh, just for kicks, let's uh, summon something else. Let's give Griggle some EXP. Go, Griggle, to the field. You may become a powerful deck leader one day. Who knows? But we will attack with blue eyes. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I ever really mentioned it, but yeah, if you do defeat monsters in battle, uh, it does give you like a little bit of experience toward uh, 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 ranking up. So not that much comparatively to everything else, but you know, really attacking the deck leader. If you can attack the deck leader a lot, you know, in the same duel, you'll really, really rank up. So. But that is kind of hard to do, because if you're attacking them over and over, like, how are you going to attack them, like, more than, you know, three times with a normal monster? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe you got them locked down somehow to where they're not summoning cards, and you hit them with Karibo, uh, what's, what's three divided by 40? Uh, four, 14 times? Fourteen times? <laughs> yeah, with, with, a, with a Karibo. Oh, we have just enough. 2200, baby. Alright, well, I'm a little sad. We didn't see uh, the Moth the Ball, but, you know, we did get a quick win, which is kind of nice, honestly, so. 
Alright, next game. And because of that, we're only like uh, 15 minutes into the episode, so we should have time for like a uh, panic or uh, a necromancer duel. So, that's good. Ooh, Eternal Rest, sweet. Oh, I was going for Breath of Light, but, you know. Oh, man. <laughs> I wasn't even close there. It was a little too late and pretty early. Eh, that's okay, though. I mean, Eternal Rest, I don't think we had that before. And honestly, <laughs> what's pretty funny is, uh, yeah, yeah, if you're uh, struggling with a uh, Necromancer over here whatsoever, if he's just, like, getting out his strategy and his pumpkins and just overwhelming you, yeah, good place to grind for a solution is go here to Rex, and uh, who's a lot easier to beat, especially when you're learning uh, the game. And yeah, you can actually win. Uh, uh, try to get three copies of Eternal Rest. Mwah. Cakewalk, man, cakewalk. We've already got two, so yeah. Speaking of that, um, should I reincarnate a card around that level? Uh, maybe, yeah, we could get some good spells and traps, honestly, or we could just get nothing. Uh, let's try it. I mean, I doubt I'll need more than, you know, one eternal rest. Uh, but I did save before this, right? Yeah, let's just try. Uh, that's honestly a good magic card. We'll probably keep this one. What's that? Launcher Spider? Pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, we're keeping this one. We are so keeping this reincarnation. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, another tremendous fire. We're getting lucky with that pretty early in the game here. Okay, let's switch to the main vein with uh, Maiden of Aqua. Uh, what? No current deck's been built. Uh, oh, I only have 39 cards in here. Whoops. Um, I think I need something with pretty low deck costs. So, Sparks, you're in. You're in, buddy. 796? Is that under Necromancers? Because I might want to duel him. Uh, I don't remember his exact deck costs. Oh, we're just one over. Oh, all right, all right. We'll go back to the deck. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. We're just one over. Okay, so let's make an easy fix here. What can we take out that's pretty replaceable? <laughs> Red medicine out. Uh, fake trap in. Would that do it? I think so. Um. Throw in fake trap. Will this work? If we're tied, can we still duel him? I certainly hope so. Otherwise, I've wasted a great deal of time. Well, we're about to find out because honestly, it's been it's been, been like a long time since I played this game since the last recording session. So, yeah, let's find out. Uh, we are tied with the deck cost. Oh, well, apparently, if you're tied, you can duel. So, good to know. All right. Let's see whose 795 deck cost deck is better. Versus Main of the Young. Alright. Wish me luck, guys. Okay, not bad first hand. Not bad, not bad at all. I think what we'll do is I'll, I'll throw out Man Eater Bug pretty early and have it go. Actually, you know what? First turn, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass first turn. Okay. a lot of power-ups, Weevil. It'd be a shame if somebody uh, used a special ability there on you. Alright, go, Maiden of Yaku. Go, Man-Eater Bug. Target locked on. Gain the lead. Lost the lead. Time the lead. Un-freaking believable. Man, he put two dark energy on I wouldn't mind winning another one of those. Now, I know we're going to take a hit with Man Eater Bug, but honestly, did you see the attack stat of that thing? That was well worth the cop comedic factor. Well worth it. Yeah, we're going to take some massive damage here, but still, that was pretty funny, you got to admit. Oof, what remains? Dude, this thing's like a blue eyes white dragon. Are you kidding me? And that, folks, that's why deck master abilities are so good in this game. <laughs> he just brought out a level 3 monster that has the stats of blue eyes. That's crazy. Wow. Maybe I should have been patient and uh, 
you know, not went in with a with, with banner in her book, but I had to, man. That was just, I was just too funny. That was too funny. I might regret that move, uh, depending on how this story goes, though. We'll see. Ah, uh, I think that's funny. Oh, yeah, you think that's funny? You're gonna die, clown. 25 50. Wow. Yeah, Bones is pretty good. So like I like I was saying about him potentially overwhelming you. Yes, it can literally happen. Um, and if it does, yeah, just uh, what can I say? Um, you know, um, like I said, go against uh, earlier, go against uh, Rex Raptor, and yeah, perhaps you can win uh, Eternal Rest, which will clear out a lot of the zombies at once. So, all right, what you gonna do, Bones? Oh, that was weird. The game kind of froze for a second. Yeah, out of your deck leader range. Yeah, now you're all the way down to 2,000. That's a little more reasonable. <laughs> crazy, man. It's crazy how much uh, deck leader abilities make a difference. All right. Super Sonic. Oh, wait. But that's no match for Akihiron, the mighty... Go Pixie Dust! Everyone knows dark monsters are weak against light attacks. That's why I brought out my Arky Hero. <laughs> and just like in uh, Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories, man, what a fun series. I'm so glad I started that one. Uh, yeah, the zombie attacks, even in the death animations, <laughs> they have some of the funniest ones. Oh, I love it. Right. Hopefully, we draw Spike Seeds right here. That'd be pretty good. Uh, what do we get? Risky and attack with uh, Furious Seeking. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Zombie Warrior? Okay, so that is going to change the stats a bit. Okay, okay. 400 damage? I'm okay with uh, And the main thing is, we're getting the tactical advantage here by getting to move uh, Akihiron uh, in. And plus, like, Wasteland Squares are very bad for our deck. You know, under normal circumstances. Like, if we're not getting the Aqua Dragon stuff or uh, Maiden of the Aqua to circumvent the uh, power, uh, the power down for the field. You know what I mean? It is pretty bad. So, honestly, this may seem like a reckless move, but it's honestly a pretty good move for us. So. <laughs> Double Slash. It's a critical hit. Sorry, Furious Seeking. But I appreciate your help in this little. Alright. Okay. Still doing good on time. Akihiran, get in there. Alright. I guess I could have moved my leader forward uh, just to get a little stat bo uh, boost, but uh, we're actually kind of low on life, and I'm not too familiar with this guy's AI. Like, I don't know if he just stays in the corner if you get close like we are, or if he'd be smart enough to, you know, go to the left and summon on uh, one of the close wastelands, play a zombie, and then, you know, flip it too. I don't know if he's smart enough to do that or not, so we're going to play it safe and hang back, you know. Aki here, Ron's got this. With the C square. Yeah, because if I would have went here... Yeah, exactly. He could have went to the left, perhaps. Played a zombie here, moved twice. That's game. So we only got 10.50, so... I think that's the discipline move, for sure. What you got, Bones? Okay. Alright. Okay, moving on out. Let's see what we draw here. Uh, uh... Bug Roth. Okay. It's pretty good, honestly. Um... Tell you what. I will move here. This time I'm not afraid because I have a plan. So we'll go with this. Alright, time for my signature monster from Forbidden Memories. Neil McDonough-Rima. Yaiba Robo. Get that out of here. Ah, uh, son. You don't stand a chance, man. Yaiba Robo. Get ready for Metal Greymon. Now, this thing does have an effect, but uh, I don't remember what it is. I know it does some kind of burn damage, but 
but I forgot exactly how much, so we're about to find out. Metal Grimmon. Heck yeah. I love Agumon, the Agumon line. Alright, effects. 300, ooh. That's getting dangerously close, but it's, uh... We'll move here. Now we'll stay where we're at. No, we'll, yeah, we'll move here. No, we'll stay, we'll stay. To kind of discourage him from, like, moving up, and then, you know, playing a monster, moving up, you know. Well, no, he doesn't have anything that's good on the water, does he? Oh, wait, I can't even move up. What am I saying? Okay. Yeah, let's move here, let's move here. I don't think he has anything good on the sea terrain, so this should work. Yeah, okay, he's gonna stay there. I was worried about nothing, man. Okay. So he played something on the ocean. That's a pretty good card right about now. Alright, you did. Limit removal. This unlocks the limits on all my machines, giving them a 600 point boost. Nice. Alright, Cyber Source, looking good, looking good. Let's, uh. What am I saying? I don't need to move up. Let's move this way for the uh, deck leader ability and attack. Ah, oh, spell by me. Clever, clever. But I'm going to make another move. So I'll move. I'll move here. And we'll end the turn. Yeah, you can't move on sea terrain, so I'm not worried. Effect, though. Good effect, though. Good effects. Ooh, a fusion. That is a little concerning. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we win. With the Cyber Source, so I don't know what he fused, but, uh... Uh... Oh, he made a scale gun. Nice, nice. Uh, let's just see what we drew here. Nothing too... Special, but uh, let's give Furious Sea King. Yeah, he's a major, so let's give him a little EXP. Use his effects. And then we'll, uh, we'll probably attack with Aki here on directly, give him some EXP, and then attack uh, with uh, Metal Greymon. Alright, and uh, yeah, we, we don't really need, need to see the battle. But, uh, yeah. Do some graveyard slots, and that'll be the end of this episode. All right, we can't move with Aki here on. Okay, then, uh, let's just finish him off. I'm not gonna go after the monster, because it could have a similar effect to Scorpion. You know what I mean? It's a spellbinder, so best to just hit the deck leader. And it does give you the most EXP, so. All right. Pretty interesting duel. I played a little aggressively, but paid off. Ah, Metal Grey Mine's been promoted. Sweet. Alright, let's try for the three in a row. Let's focus, Josh. And he did play like two dark energy, so maybe I should shoot for that. Good? Okay. Aww, okay. Well, in that case, uh, what's good in this graveyard pumpkin? <laughs> nice. Just like last time, we get, we get we all three good cards. Two power-ups for Pumpkin and Pumpkin himself. Nice. Uh, ultimately, I'd like to actually get a Graveyard and Hand of Invitation if I can. Um, okay, guys. But, uh, yeah. And we got some pretty good reincarnations this time as well. So, it's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, uh, yeah, we're just going to... Uh, we're probably just gonna, you know, go around and take on some more duelists. Uh, but yeah, just gonna transfer this to my computer real quick. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. See ya. And next time. Alright. Take care of yourselves and each other.